So you're having this issue with your TV. Now it might not be LED strips. I'm going to explain to you and show you exactly how I'm going to be doing this. And then, you know, I'll make another video of actual repairing it. But I'm going to show you how to get the part number you need for what this issue might be caused from. It's an LED driver board. This is a video. Very common on them. A lot of people replace the LEDs and it don't fix them. Because, you know, it never was an LED issue in the first place. So... If we look down here in the corner, oops, I touched it. We got kind of dark spots here. We got a whole corner of the screen up here, dark. It's not uniform. If it been an LED strip with lighting going out, you would have the black line and kind of a strip going through it. You can see we have none of that. We have no issues at all. We just got a dim spot here, a little bit of dimming in this area, and right down here and that's telling me that that might be a LED driver bed so we're gonna take this TV down off of its hanger put it on a bed sheet so you don't scratch your screen and then I'm gonna show you how to you know de depending on the model of TV depends on how it comes apart but you just need to take the back cover off you don't have to get into the electronics or anything to get the part number for the part you need so I got the TV laying flat on a bed sheet on something soft and then took the wall brackets off. Depending if your TV is shelf mounted or to the wall or depending if you have to take these off. If not, you will have to take your feet off the TV. Now you got screws all the way around this. You can watch tutorials on how to break down your TV. But usually this cover just lifts off maybe with a snap or two. But double check that you get all the screws out of this. I'm going to go ahead and remove everything. Got a bowl. To put my screws in and then i'm going to take a picture of a led driver board and the part number also keep in mind that some of these screws are different sizes my tv had long ones here super short ones here and different super small ones here and here so keep in mind where your bolts go because you don't want to put them in the wrong spot because you can bust your screen cause cosmetic damage you know just countless of things make sure you know where your bolts go so Everything's off now. I should be able to pry up on this cover just like so, gently, and just work it around. And she should pop loose. I think I got a screw still in it. Nope, it's got a snap though. Just be gentle when doing this. I don't know if you noticed when I was trying to, it was just wanting pop and I wasn't going to force it. And I had an extra screw left right here. You probably can see it if you look over the video. But once you get this popped up, you look under here, there's a cable. There it is. And you need to pretty well unplug that cable. So it don't get damaged. But it's got a pretty good length to it. It's taped down so you can give you a little bit more length. If you need to by on taping it it's taped up there too so that's what we're going to do and i'm going to unplug it so i can get my board number which you probably can get it by just sticking a camera in there but i'm going to take this all the way off so with that out of the way i just unplug this i'll show you how to unplug your little tabs they got a little snap here and you can see it right there, i'll just pry up on it like so and then these will pop out you can mark these so you don't get them confused, but these do not have to come loose. But if you're having TV issues, you can undo every one of these. And we plug them in, and it might be a loose connection. Here's the issue that I'm thinking we got. This is an LED driver board. Nothing looks burnt. Sometimes you can see damage to the board. But this controls all the the drivers i might actually take this out clean it with after possible alcohol and uh these guys on snap the same way that one wasn't plugged in too good this actually was the side that was giving us issues it was about out about like that so yeah let's go ahead and unplug it and then just screws hold it in I'm taking it completely out, gonna clean it, and when we install it, see if it fixes it. But I'm taking it out so I can get a good picture of this and go see if I can find a replacement board. 
So I took some 90% alcohol and a toothbrush very gently to all these boards. I took, unplugged everything, all but the ribbon cables. I did not clean the ribbon cables, but I did unplug these. Just like so, took some alcohol water on both sides and cleaned all these up. Now I'm going to reconnect that, put my cover back on, put my cable back up, the one that went to the cover, and reassemble this and hang it back up. We might fix the issue by just cleaning it because a lot of dust buildup can cause a lot of issues. Sometimes a loose connection. But uh, I think it's an LED driver board. But this was about out from the factory. They couldn't, you know, not had it in all the way. And it just, you know, a couple years later started giving us issues. So it did not fix my issue at all. It's still dark. So I'm going to order a new driver board. Because I'm about positive I hang LEDs. Hmm. You know, I might not fix my issue, but maybe, you know, taking it apart when you get in your part number and unplugging everything, plugging it back in, it might fix yours. You never know. It's worth a shot while you're not, you know, getting your part number to order your new board. Yep, uh, uh, I've looked them up used. They got 22 bucks, so I'm going to try to invest 22 bucks. This is a great TV. And, you know, that saves you money, especially if you warn them I don't want to buy a low budget. TV, you know, when this one came out, it was like $700. It plays good, but technology, you know, advances super fast in TVs. But, you know, I, I don't want to go spend another five, $600 on a 55-inch right now when I can maybe fix this in for, you know, 22 bucks. Especially if it's just in my room here. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you're new, get subscribed. If you're returning a subscriber, be sure to leave a comment. If you need to leave a comment, too, I enjoy hearing from everyone. Don't forget... I will be making an update video on this coming very soon. See if we fix that issue. If not, why not just throw, you know, LEDs in it. That's another video. Somebody might want to know how to do this stuff. Now try to be as helpful as I can.